Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. We're kicking into 2024, folks. Holy cow. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It's always better to ask questions than make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions and to as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to that question, you won't have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. If they tell you the truth, right? Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 102, Nasdaq's up 12, S&Ps are up 2.5. Gold, gold contract uh, trading down $14.50 at $2,078 an ounce. We have silver down 38 cents, 24 dollars 25 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down two dollars ten cents, 72 dollars one penny a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note down 13 ticks, trading 112.29. The 30-year of, of 23 ticks at 125.05. And king dollar, king dollar is up 240 ticks, trading 101.226. Euro 110, yen trading 141 British pound at 127 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, slowly but surely, that S&P is trying to get to its highs. I, my take is that, you know, we're going we're gonna to get this high. You don't get this close to a high without whacking it. So we take a look at this, baby. What you're going to see here, come on, let's go. So right now, you got it up 60 cents. 57 cents, you know, you have volume contracted, no doubt about that. I mean, that's going to be all week. And you're still under the highs, you know. We're just barely under the high. So we'll see one that wants to whack it. I mean, it's, it's, we got the 477.55 today, and it's 479. Actually, let's bring up the cash, because what does happen is the S&P pays a dividend, which makes a difference. So if we bring up the cash, right now we hit 47.8, no, 47.93, and that number is 48.18. So uh, yeah, so that's that's, uh, that's 27 points, man. Yeah, yeah, it's 27 points. That's, that's quite a while. But when you bring up the cash, man, that still looks like hey, it's gonna go after it. We take a look at the the Qs. The Qs just continue to keep going higher, man. So we take a look at the Qs. The Qs are up 17 cents right now, and they're breaking away from their highs. And they, it hasn't broke away yet, but the, the bottom line is getting there little by little. We go take a look at the gold contract. That's put well here. Let's do the notes and bonds first, because the notes and bonds. You have the 10-year. Let's back into. 3.8 again. You're pulling back with 827,000 contracts. We went up yesterday with just about the same thing. Uh, gold contract. The gold contract is actually pulling back with lighter shares than contracts rather than we did yesterday. Uh, yesterday, uh, you, end up, you did about 150,000, I believe. Let's look at this. No, it's probably the same thing. No, it's the same. Yeah, it was 128, and you're pulling back at 121. That's consolidating. And then King Dollar. King Dollar's getting a bounce out here. Let's go to uh, Tom in Pittsburgh. Tom, what's going on? Happy New Year, man. Hey, Happy New Year to you. I uh, hope you had a great Christmas. We did. It was awesome. It was, uh, it was great, and I expect 2024 is going to be a good year. Yeah. Well, I got a couple of questions for you. I'm looking at some tax loss selling and... I don't know if it's worth it at this point, but uh, I got a loss in uh, EXK and also SSRM, two silver stocks. Is, do you think they're worth holding or at e this point? So EXK. Yeah, there's not much there on EXK. What's the other one? Uh, SSRM. SSRM. Yeah, Silverado. Okay. Oh, the SSRM. I see. They just call it SSR mining now, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So the low here is 10, the high 17. Yeah, so. Yeah, so when you, okay, so let's, let's walk through what you're specifically saying. You're saying that you get tax loss selling. Now, do you have gains that you're gonna, yeah. that, that you already closed out? Yeah, I have gains, and uh, I was looking at, I have a number of uh, gold and silver stocks, but these two stocks I have uh, losses in, I'm just debating, you know. But my, 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 my point is, if you haven't closed them out, you don't have gains yet on, on the tax forms. Do you have gains that you have already closed out that you're going to pay taxes on? Yes. Okay. So... The way to calculate it is you take the, uh, listen folks, I'm not, a, I'm not an accountant, <laughs> number one, but I'm just gonna walk you through how this works, okay? And make sure you talk to your accountant, okay? So what you do there is this, I would take what the gains are, right? I would take what tax bracket you're in, so that you understand what you're gonna pay, right? And then calculate, you know, what you're gonna lose on these, and you'll see whether you come out to net positive. If you come out to net positive, sell both of them, man. Who cares, right? <laughs> I mean, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm also thinking, uh, I don't know, in your opinion, are these things bottoming out? Because I don't want to sell at the bottom. Well, you but can always buy it, right back. Or are they worth holding? But you can buy it right back. Well, yeah, after, what, 30 days. So SSRM looks to me like it's going to go down to this $9 level. That's a high volume low that's going after. You can see the amount of volume that we did, you know, even this month is huge. So it's going to go yeah. after that level. And then okay. the other one, EXK, right? That was the other one, right? Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, I mean, EXK is not moving, and all the rest of the gold stocks have moved in a big way, man. So, you know, this, okay. and, you know, this has volume, too. Okay. You know? Um, yeah, just, just stay there for one second. Come right back, folks. Okay.